so Sprag just at it again. He actually ate a raw scroll at a vegan festival recently. Um, and I just wanted to do a little reaction video to it. Um, I've got a news article here, so it's going to be kind of based off that and based on my own opinion as well. Sickening moment when a protester stands onlookers by eating a raw squirrel at a vegan market in London. A week after devouring a pig's head. An anti-vegan protester was seemingly arrested in London yesterday after eating a dead squirrel in front of shocked out outlookers at a vegan market. A video clip of the scene showing a ponytailed man grasping a decapitated squirrel has, as he spoke calmly with a police officer after ripping it open and eating its innards at the market. Now, <laughs> I think one of the issues with this is that Sparage doesn't exactly seem normal. He seems insane. Um, whenever I've talked about Sparage to any of my family members, because I think it's, I think it's quite funny that he goes to all of these random places and eats raw meat um they kind of be they're like he's he's crazy this guy's insane um and i think that a lot of the time people don't really want to see the meat that they're eating they want to not think of it as like a real animal and i think when you're eating a dead pig's head or you're eating a dead squirrel people actually are able to see that it's an animal and it, it's very very shocking for them I think. Um, the second issue is with the the squirrel itself in the UK squirrels are often seen as like cute cuddly animals. People often go to the park and feed the squirrels out their hands and think they're really cute. Um, or squirrels are seen as like vermin like almost like rats so they're seen as inedible. They're not seen as an animal that it's okay to eat in the UK. So I think that when you're eating a dead squirrel, it's quite shocking for people, to be honest. Um, and it makes you seem not very normal. And I think if you want people to agree with you and be nice to you, I think they have to see you as a normal, sane person. Right, so Sparage goes on to say, veganism is like a religion. People blindly believe that we can go from eating meat to just eating plants like a cow. We can't as humans. So the issue is, Sparage, that your whole nutritional perspective goes against what the majority of health organisations say. The majority of health organisations say that we should be on an omnivorous diet with the option of having a healthy vegan diet as part of that. They don't suggest that we should be on a carnivorous diet. A carnivorous diet is pretty much bad for health. It has high amounts of saturated fat and cholesterol, which cause a number of problems. And the majority of health organisations suggest we should be eating less meat as opposed to more. Okay, so the founders of the Soho Vegan Market say the Soho Vegan Market was created for people both vegan and otherwise so that they could try delicious and different plant-based food in an easily accessible location in the heart of London. We've been open for almost a year now and seen thousands of people visit with no conflict between meat eaters and vegans at all, which of course is not what we're aiming for. So... <laughs> I kind of just feel like a vegan festival isn't the right place to protest about the carnival diet. People going to a vegan festival or a vegan market are most likely going to be vegan or most likely going to have a close friend or family member who are vegan. So they're much more likely to be inclined towards eating a more plant-based diet than inclined towards e eating a carnivorous diet. Um, and in all honesty, if I was at a vegan festival and Sparrow was there with his friends promoting the carnival diet, I would just completely ignore them and, and get on with my day and maybe make a joke about how silly and ridiculous he looks. Um, I think that vegans are 
a bit too far gone to start eating a completely meat-based diet. Um, and this is why I don't suggest that vegans themselves go and protest at a meat festival because it just makes us look crazy, it makes us look extreme, it makes us look stupid to be honest. The article goes on to say it follows several direct action protests by the pro-vegan group in Brighton which have ruffled, also ruffled, fe ruffled feathers. These protests include vegans marching into a restaurant with meat as murder signs and blocking shoppers from accessing food in a supermarket. So I honestly don't think going into a supermarket and blocking off food or shouting in people's faces is very good activism. I think just like vegans don't go vegan when they see <laughs> don't start eating a carnivorous diet when they see spurridge going to a vegan festival and eating a raw pig's head or a squirrel meat eaters don't go vegan when they have people shouting in their face and showing slaughterhouse fishage in the middle of a restaurant it just doesn't work like that. Um, it doesn't change people's minds, it doesn't change people's perspectives, it's just rude, aggressive and if I'm not affected by asparagus activism and it wouldn't make me start eating a carnivorous diet, why do you think that doing exactly the same with omnivores is going to make them eat a vegan diet? It just doesn't work like that. I think the best forms of activism I've had performed on me um, are by quite a few different religious groups um, and they were actually polite to me, they were nice, they didn't um, engage me in a conversation that I didn't want to be part of, they waited for me to come up to them and seem interested in what they were doing. Um, whereas with Sparage and direct action everywhere it's very in your face it's very confrontational and I think being nice to people and polite is the best way that you can get them to listen to you anyway thank you for watching guys and please subscribe and like this video and check out my ebook the link in the description